And out of bloody nowhere, Valve decided to launch new hardware. Their new Steam machine, which is basically a cube PC, has just been revealed. And while it looks sleek, tiny, and futuristic, it's hiding one major controversy. Today, we're breaking down everything you need to know about this compact Steam powered cube, why it only packs 8 gigabits of VRAM, and whether this is actually a next gen console competitor or is it just another gimmick. So let's start with the hardware. It offers a small form factor, it's minimalistic, and it's clean. And honestly, it's pretty damn cool to look at. But here's the twist inside the stylish cube is a GPU with just 8 gigabytes of VRAM. And that has raised some eyebrows. In 2025, 8 gigabit isn't just entry level in some modern AAA games, it's borderline unusable. VRAM usage is skyrocketing. Games like Hogwarts Legacy, The Last of Us, and Starfield can swallow 10 gig to 14 gig without blinking. Yet Valve is claiming this cube can deliver 4K 60 FPS gameplay with 8 gig. Yeah, as you thought, the gaming community is questioning that too. Now, something interesting to note here, comparing it to consoles, the PlayStation 5 is running RDNA 2, 36 compute units, 2.2 gigahertz memory clock, and a theoretical 10.28 teraflops with 16 gig VRAM. That's a huge difference. The Series X is running 10 gigs, with 52 compute units, it's also a custom-made RDNA 2. The Steam Machine will be running a semi-custom AMD RDNA 3 with much fewer compute units, higher clock speed estimated, and theoretical performance seems to be higher with only 8 gig of GDDR6. It's going to be an interesting comparison to see what sort of frame rates we could get with similar games running on consoles time will tell and we'll have those results i think sooner than we think so stay tuned and let's see what this little beast can do the cpu is a semi-custom now I've no idea what the heck they mean by a semi-custom but it's an amd zen 4 so it's old six core 12 thread cpu 4.8 gigahertz 30 watt tdp which is basically a laptop cpu um, not overwhelming, but should be okay. Also, again, a semi-custom AMD graphics card, Audion A3. We have max sustain clock of 2.4. That's fine. 110 TDP. That's that's okay. Nothing major. 16 gig RAM DDR5. That's that's okay. This 8 gig DDR6. Man, that's gonna suck. They're gonna have to rely heavily on FSR. If you're going to be running 8K 60 hertz monitors or 4K 240 hertz, she's FSR, you're going to have to work hard to try and get any decent frame rate. And obviously, the games that you're going to play are not are going to be 2D games, basically. <laughs> Valve says the cube will benefit from SteamOS optimizations, including upscaling tech like FSR, smarter memory management, and highly tuned system level performance. But even with that, 8 gigabyte is still a bottleneck. Think about textures on open world streaming. The cube might struggle, especially at higher resolutions. So the big question becomes, is this a realistic gaming machine? Or is Valve overselling its power? So that will wrap up this video. Are you keen on this cube box PC that Valve is cooking up? Or is it a hard pass?